Hi, welcome to the Grandfather assembly video. The first thing you need to do is unpack the unit and lay everything out in front of you. This video will show you the assembly in sections, so pay attention to what you need to have ready. For this assembly, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver and an adjustable spanner. Start by assembling the recirculation arm. For this you will need the recirculation arm and the silicon hose. Push the silicon hose over the barbed end of the recirculation arm. Look to see if there is an o-ring installed under the plastic knob. If there is not, you will have spare o-rings and seals in a bag. Next, install the discharge pipe. You will need the discharge pipe, a hose clamp and a screw and nut. Push the hose clamp over the silicon tube on the pump outlet. Next, push the discharge pipe through the holes in the boiler brackets and fit it into the silicon tube on the pump outlet. This will be a tight fit. To make this easier, dip the bottom of the discharge pipe in some boiling water before fitting it on. Tighten the screw and nut on the top boiler bracket to secure it to the discharge pipe. Lastly, tighten the hose clamp on the pump outlet. At the top of the discharge pipe, there are two valves. The bottom valve is a bowl valve which controls the flow when you are chilling. Turn it 90 degrees to slow down the flow. The top valve is a safety valve. As you can see, when there is no insert, the spring shuts the valve. When the recirculation arm is inserted, the spring compresses, allowing flow. Locate the control box. The control box has two cords. One is the power cord and the other is the temperature probe. Feed the cords through the metal handle on the boiler. At the back of the control box, there are two metal lugs. Push these through the holes in the metal bracket to secure the control box to the boiler. Connect the pump and heating plug to the control box. The pump plug is the cord protruding from the pump at the bottom left on the boiler. The heating plug is the cord protruding from the middle of the boiler base. Plug the pump cord into the left socket on the bottom of the control box. Plug the heating cord into the right socket. Connect the temperature probe, socket and nut. First, unscrew the round nut. Place the stainless socket inside the boiler and push the threaded end through the hole in the boiler base. Tighten the nut to the socket to secure it. Push the temperature probe firmly into the temperature socket. Install the pump filter. Push the pump filter into the metal cup inside the boiler base. Now you need to assemble your inner basket. You will need the basket, bottom perforated plate, the bottom overflow pipe with the nut, and the top overflow pipe. Push the bottom perforated plate into the basket by tilting it on its side, pushing it all the way down and straightening it again. This should be a tight fit. Push the threaded end of the bottom overflow pipe into the hole of the bottom perforated plate and secure this by tightening the overflow outlet nut. Now, push the top overflow pipe over the bottom overflow pipe, making sure the spring brackets face down. This pipe should be a tight fit and not fall down. If it does, squeeze the two spring clips together to tighten it. The grandfather is now all set up. Next, it is important to familiarize yourself with the chiller before you brew. The chiller has four hoses, a blue hose, red hose, a short clear hose and a long clear hose. The blue hose is the cold water inlet. The red hose is the water outlet. The short clear hose is the wort inlet and the long clear hose is the wort outlet. Make sure you are brewing close to a tap. You will have a tap adapter set. Connect the blue chiller hose to the hose tail of your tap adapter set. There is a connection for a kitchen tap, laundry tap and garden hose. The chiller attaches to the grandfather by resting it on the glass lid and securing the plastic knob to the discharge pipe. Now you are ready to give your grandfather and chiller a clean before you start your first brew. Thank you for watching the assembly video and we really hope you enjoy making your first beer with the grandfather.